G'day, Ryan at Daniel Anderson here. Now, wouldn't it be amazing if we could upload documents to a SharePoint document library and automatically extract information using natural language and then grab that and pop that into a SharePoint uh, metadata column for use in the library itself? We can actually do that by using what we call an autofill column. Now, if you're not familiar with autofill columns, autofill columns uh, automatically help us extract and summarize or even generate content from files uploaded to a SharePoint document library. Now, it is using uh, LLMs through generative AI, um, and autofill columns can save metadata automatically, which obviously does help with managing files and associated information. Now, there are a few requirements and limitations around that, so let's just have a quick look at what they are first. So, the supported file types, you can see there on the screen, that there are, they are limited to these types of files. There are some supported languages and some supported column types as well that we can see on the screen. So just keep that in mind when we're walking through this process that there are a few little limitations. But let's get stuck into it and we're going to use an example of a policies document library. Now inside of our policies, what we do have is our policy number. So rather than having us enter additional metadata, we can use an autofill column to extract this number and then put that into a column called policy number, all right? So let's add a text column, all right? So we'll add text and you can see that I've got this autofill um, option here that I can set up. So when I click on set up, I can enter a prompt, okay? I can enter the prompt and then that is going to use our LLM to actually go and do what we want it to do. So what I wanna do is I wanna extract the policy number. So I'm going to say uh, extract the policy number um, from the document. And I'm going to then also be a little bit more specific. The format is uh, policy number dash pol dash zero zero one. All right, so what I'm doing there is I'm just giving it an example what to look for. Now, let's have a look and see what happens. All right, so I've just given it that as a generic type of prompt first. So if I go to and use and test this on the leave policy, I'll hit test. We can have a look and see what the result's going to be there. Now, that's not exactly what we want. All we want is this part, okay? So only, let's uh, adjust our prompt. Only extract the text that is after policy number colon. And let's now give that a test and let's see if that gives us the response or the result that we're after. All right, so we've just updated the prompt and there we go. That is exactly what we want, all right? So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to save that. I'm going to give this column a name and I'll call this policy number, all right? And we can see here that I've got my more options. Now I can edit my prompt if I want to as well, all right? Now you'll notice this little um, box here. To process existing documents, we can select the files and the autofill button in the command bar, all right? So we'll hit save. So now we've got our autofill column set up and ready to go. Now let's open up another policy. So I'm going to look at, let's have a look at our performance management policy. So I am going to pop in policy number and we'll go POL-003 as our number here for our performance management policy. All right, so that's saved. All right, we can see that that's saved. Let's navigate our way back to our policies. Um, and we are going to grab our performance management policy. We're going to, from the command bar, we are going to say auto fill, all right? So you can see there, it's being processed 
and if I hit the refresh button, we can see that this performance management policy, the processing status is in progress, all right? So we, you can see that this anti-discrimination policy is also in process as well, in progress, sorry. So if I open up my anti-discrimination policy, you know, if I have a look, and I think I've popped this down the bottom here, so we can see there that just to give this a test, I've actually got this in a different location. So it's not in the same location as the other documents, all right? So if I just close these down, and we'll give this a little bit of time, and we'll wait for this to, uh, to process, and we'll come back and we'll have a look at what the result is. All right, so after about 30 minutes, um, these documents have now been processed and you can see that the policy number has been extracted from the document and added to our column. Now, what if we wanted to do something else? Maybe get a summary of our document as well and provide that in a column. So we can add multiple uh, autofill columns. So in this example, let's put a multiple lines of text and let's call this summary, all right? So again, I'm going to summarize this and we are going to give this column or this uh, autofill column a prompt and say, can you please uh, summarize this policy? Uh, please keep it short and concise in a single sentence. All right, so we can see there, and we've got a uh, an example there, which actually looks better than my prompt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna add this. Please provide a summary of the document in one sentence, ensuring it is capitalized properly. Uh, if a summary is not found, return summary not found. All right, so let's do this and test this on the anti-discrimination policy, all right? So we'll hit test and we'll have a look in our results column here. And there we go. We can see that we've got our, uh, our test. Let's do it as well on our performance management, all right? So if we go to performance management, we'll give that a test just to make sure that we've uh, got this all correct. So it's testing, summarizing the doc, and we'll give us this. So we've got a different result there. So that looks very good, all right? So we're gonna save that prompt and we're gonna give this summary uh, a column. And again, to process existing uh, content, we're going to select the files and hit the autofill. So all right, so we'll hit save. That's now been done as well. I'm just gonna drag this across. Now I'm going to select this document and this document. And then what we're going to do is we're going to choose autofill. And we'll choose autofill. It's now, they're now being processed. We'll just hit our refresh button here. And you can see that these are in progress as well. So we'll let that run and then we'll have a look at the output that gets put into our summary column. All right, so after about three minutes this time, we have our summary that's been pre-populated in our column that we set up when we did that, all right? So that's going to now also work on additional documents that we upload to our document library, not just on our pre-existing ones. Um, so there we go, autofill columns. Being able to upload documents, add a column to our document library, and then use an L a prompt to be able to extract the information uh, that we want into um, additional columns in our SharePoint document library. So I hope that brings you some value today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.